Um, today I am, if you don't know me, my name is Joanne and today I'm going to be doing a cookery video. I'm going to be doing one of the family favourites. In fact, one of my favourites. It's one of my favourite soups. It's very easy to make. I'm going to be using my Morphe Richard soup maker, but it is also very easily made on the stove top. Um, so it's going to be butternut squash and coconut. Um, it's a really quick, there's only three like main ingredients to the soup. And the rest is just things to flavour it, like a little bit of garlic, a bit of chilli and things like that. It's so simple to make and I just thought I would share it with you. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to show you what I'm going to be using and we'll get into the video. Okay guys, so the only ingredients that really go into this is I've got three onions, small, very small ones, because um, that's all I had and it is January and I'm trying to use up what I've got. Um, I've got a butternut squash, a bit of a weird shaped one, and I've got a can of Blue Dragon coconut milk, but you can use any one, and that is the light one. Um, I'm using some chilies, which I had frozen from the summer that were homegrown. I've got one stock cube, which I'm going to put a little bit of boiling water in that now, and just let that melt, because I don't want it to melt on the bottom of my um, soup maker. I'm also going to be using two cloves of garlic i've got three of but i'm actually only going to use two and i'm going to use a little bit of fresh ginger as well and um, which i've just peeled and chopped so this I i'll chop the onions whilst i'm talking this ingredient this this soup could be more tasty i suppose if you actually roasted the onions and the squash first but personally i don't feel like you need to i've made it a few times now um, and it works absolutely fine like this but if you wanted to pack in some extra flavour I think like once you start to roast a bit of butternut put squash it goes like really um, very sweet and sort of caramelised it brings out the sweetness but personally I don't think you need to but that's personal choice I think you would probably look at lots of recipes and the, maybe they do cook off the butternut squash first but I've done it many times before and you don't need to. So I'm just going to crush the garlic, although I don't need to because I am going to actually chop it as well in the um, soup. I'm going to be making a fine soup. Um, I'm not a fan of like a chunky soup. So I'll just cut the top off this squash. I'm not using the sharpest of knives to be fair. Oh no, it's going through quite well. I have seen these soup makers in Home Bargains and Aldi's as well. And they're only like 19 99 and they look identical. The only difference is it hasn't got more than Richard wrote on the on the top of it. Um, but it's still got the, the orange line through it. It looks identical to this one. So I wouldn't I would the next time if I wanted a soup maker, I certainly wouldn't feel the need to go out and buy a Morphe Richard one. I didn't actually buy this new, I bought it off Facebook cheap shop when I bought this um, soup maker anyway. Because I didn't, I didn't know if I was going to use it all the time. And in the winter, I do use it a lot. So it's definitely worth it. But the next time I would just go to Aldi or Home Bargains and, and pay like sort of 20 quid for one. Just get these seeds out. Probably should have done this bit before I came on camera, but what's and all and that, all that. Right. Just get all the mess out of the way so it doesn't look so unsightly. So I'll get this plugged in. this and chuck it in. Roughly chop it. Thank you. 
So how's everybody doing? What are you doing with your Sunday today? Um, first real Sunday in, in the new year. I'm sure most people have got the trains down now or they could be taking them down today. I felt so relieved to get mine down. I just wanted a, a fresh start. So the house feels so much tidier. I've done a little bit of organisation this week as well. I've done some of my wardrobes, which has made us feel a little bit better to get a few jobs done. Right, so that's everything chopped. So I'm just going to throw in the buttermilk squash. My ginger, my chilies, the onions, just throw everything into the pot. I'll put the pepper in at the end. I'm not going to put any salt in because I'm putting a stock cube in. So hopefully I'll get all the salt I need from my stock cube. Got pumpkin seeds sticking to us. Right, I'm going to put, I'll just give that, use a spoon to mix up the stock cube so it's fully dissolved. I'll plug this in. A little bit left to go. Give it a little help. Right, so I'm going to tip that in. I'm going to tip in the full can of coconut milk. And then I'm going to top it up to, it's got like a max line inside. I'm going to top it up with some boiling water to there. Put it back down. And then... I just press mode and I want mine to be so what's that we've got smooth so I'm gonna go smooth select and smooth so you can go smooth chunky or that's for like juices and then if you want to blend extra at the end so there you go so we've got 21 minutes on and it's actually started cooking so it'll just count down it'll notify us when the 21 minutes is up can you hear it sort of going now like a kettle? Um, so I'll come back in 21. It's just bleeped, meaning it's ready now. So we'll just turn it off. It looks like it's blended enough so I don't have to do any further blending. Pop that in the sink. And that's how it's looking. It's already just blended, so. And as you can see, it's just nice and smooth. There's absolutely loads in there as well. I'll put the rest in the fridge. I'm just gonna top it with, you can either top it with a little bit of swirl of cream or creme fraiche. I'm just gonna put a couple of pumpkin seeds in mine and I'm gonna get some French bread, French stick, and that'll be it. So guys, that is the end of it. It is a really tasty soup. It's absolutely delicious. I'm gonna try and see. That's not too hot with them three chilies. Oh my goodness, that is so good. Oh, it has got a kick to it. If you don't like hot things, I would go with two, two um, chilies, not three. Um, anyway, guys, that is the end of my video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to give us the thumbs up, like, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And hopefully, guys, I'll see you in my next video. I watch you as you drive. Do you know